It's like about the yak and he barely opened the door. Or y'all need face y'all need hazmat too. Y'all need a bath. I can't imagine what that would smell like where you open the door and you're already yakking, coughing, hacking, mopping. I don't know. Here, most good job, ladies and gentlemen. Can you squeeze? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today? We got a 911 call for help leads to horrifying discovery. Oh man, now, this is brought to us by I don't, I still don't know. Oh, never mind. I was about to say evil body cam, but explore with us. So, EWU body cam, man. Let's get smooth to it. Excuse me. I'm just really a bad, bad person. Why is no, that, man? No, not at all. Don't lie to her. Oh. I think it's good enough. <laughs> that's worse than a body, dude. A oh, woman in Cedar City, oh, Utah, spooky. calls 911 for help in the middle of what seems to be a mental and emotional breakdown. Oh, Police shit. are sent to check on her, but their concerns turn to horror when they see what's really going on at the property. Uh -oh. It's a little past 8 in the morning on July 1st, 2023, when 911 dispatchers in Iron County, Utah, receive a call from a distraught woman in the grips of a crisis. 911, what's the address of your emergency? What's going on? I'm... Oh. Need to get to hospital. Let me get the time for them, and we'll get it started. And, and how old are you? I'm 50. Okay. And are you That'd feeling be... violent at all? No. Oh. All right. And do you have access to any weapons? No. Okay. Not really. Okay. Oh, I'm unprepared to go to the hospital. Okay, that's good. Um, We're gonna get them headed that way. They just have these questions I have to ask, but yeah. you're all good. Okay. Have you done anything to injure yourself? No. Okay. Not yet. Do you have Surprising. a history of mental health conditions? Yeah. Yeah. I've got it for many, many, many years. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> The woman's name is Sarah, and while the operator establishes that she's unharmed, the despair in her voice is unmistakable. Here's my, my baby sister's got terminal cancer, oh. and then a lot of other things went wrong. I lost a dog, and I just kept thinking if I got puppies, it'd make me feel better. I just, I just got it way over my head. Gotcha. I'm just really bad. Over your head. <laughs> No, no, not at all. The operator, who can only go by what she's told over the phone, gives Sarah the benefit of the doubt. First As they mistake. arrive, however, deputies slowly begin to suspect that a dire scene awaits them inside the house. You got family coming to look after your dog? No, I, they need to be seized. They need to be seized? Uh, yes. Uh, they're not being taken care of. Dogs do you have? Nineteen. Nineteen? Yes, sir. I got a guy coming down from Wyoming. He Don't tell me you got a bunch of dead dogs in there. Okay. Um, so I told him go by the sheriff's office to figure out where they were. Cedar City law prohibits individuals from owning more than two dogs at a time. But there's a oh, vast shit. gulf between a minor ordinance violation and the veritable zoo she claims to have inside <laughs> the house. But the number of dogs may not be the biggest problem oh. here. As the EMTs help Sarah into the ambulance, she reportedly says she should go to jail rather than the hospital because, quote, she hurt her sweet babies. Can I have your permission to go on? Mm, what do you mean by that? See what you got going on. Ma'am? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really bad, man. Am I here with that shit? There's turds okay. and trash, and it's awful. Okay. Man. It's awful. It's just, okay. Humans turds don't live like that. That's what okay. I was saying. I've known it, and I'm not stupid. Sarah is clearly ashamed about the conditions of her home. But it turns out that the deputies already have strong reasons to dread going inside. Mm -hmm. um, she gave us permission to go inside the house. She says she's got 19 dogs. She can't care for them. They're under animal cruelty. Um, she thinks she's going to go to jail for that. Um, she wants to go to jail for that. Um, but I can, I can smell it. I could barely sit in the ambulance because she smells so bad. Oh, she smells bad too. Yeah, I thought I so when she was getting I up in there. It, and I'm not even in the house coming from within so the, I can't house, the house. Is and depending on what happens with her, she's got 19 dogs in a house that has no AC in it and no one to care for the dogs. So we're kind of in a pickle here. 
The temperature in Cedar City that day would reach a high of 89 degrees. Oh, gosh. The lack Hot of air conditioning shit. only raises more concern about what kind of environment Sarah's oh, dogs gosh. have been living in. The neighbors say that sometimes she opens windows to try to vent it out, but that doesn't do much. Yeah. Okay. Well, pick your head there soon you got, and uh, then we can start working on resources and take care of the rest of it. Yeah, we're going to need backup there, right? I'm sure. I almost want to get alcohol pads first. <laughs> yeah, gloves, alcohol pads. <laughs> Slow down, my niggas. Chill, y'all. I think that's good enough. Let's <coughs> think about the yak and he barely opened the door. Oh, y'all need face, y'all need hazmat. So y'all need a bath. <coughs> I can't imagine what that would smell like where you open a door and you're already yakking, coughing, hacking, mopping. I don't know. The air inside the home is unbreathable. That's toxic. And it takes the deputies a few minutes to recover from she was even too brief exposure. That. Evidently. That's worse than a body, dude. I was getting whiffs of it through my gloves. Oh, my God, dude, it's in my lungs. <coughs> Did she set y'all up? Did she well, bomb that shit? Caleb she here, nuked that motherfucker. This is... He's gonna have to walk us through this, dude, because I honestly don't know what to do. This sounds crazy. What's in there, bro? This, it's unhabitable, dude. It's absolutely unhabitable. It's perhaps the best word to describe word, the yeah. appalling conditions of the house, and the deputy uses it again when his sergeant arrives on scene. I don't know what to do. Is she That's how you know it's crazy, gone. by the way. Um, this is uninhabitable. Dude. I've never even smelled a dead body as bad as this. Really? Just open the door. You have to know what we're dealing with. We can't let her come back to this. I'm like, she ain't coming back to it, guys. What's, what's, she, what's she hiding? Or what's she got going? They're friendly. I know you smell it as soon as you crack that motherfucker, sir. Oh shit! You did <laughs> yeah, I that's not losing it right there. Uniform, <coughs> <coughs> I'm worried about. The overpowering effects of the smell inside. He worried about his uniform. Imagine how any creature, human or animal, Fucking is combining able to with live stench. in that environment. It's imperative to get the dogs out of the home as soon as possible. There's an owner to the Great Danes. He's coming <laughs> from Salt Lake to pick the Great Danes up. Then all, all those puppies in them cages are Great Danes. No, all of them. Most of those that, that I just looked at were. Were they? I they thought there was like... like that big. Yeah, maybe you were delirious because of the smell, sir. So maybe you... Because you, you... there's this little... This yeah, little this guy. little, but you look back in the back. Great Danes are for that husky back there. <laughs> Easy. Uh, calm down, nigga. As the cops try to find a way into the fenced backyard, I thought he was starting to wonder exactly <laughs> how and why Sarah has amassed this outrageous number of dogs. Well, I think she's advertising that she trained them. Does she? It'll take further investigation to turn speculation into fact. In the meantime, the cops have problems that require more immediate solutions. Sam, do you got a saw? Saw? Yeah. And she does have AC in there, but it's turned off. Interesting. Suspect. Why is your AC off, ma'am? The overgrowth block is substantial, but fortunately, the deputy has come prepared. Talk to me. Uh, Here we go. I got an axe. Okay, uh, now we're talking. Uh, uh shake that motherfucker. Where are we axing? No, oh, right into the. Come on! Come on, pups! Come on, hey, come on out! Come on, puppy! I don't see shit. Come on! I want to go stream. Come on, Pops. The dog's reluctance to leave the house is only matched by the deputy's reluctance to go back in. <laughs> this time, at least, they'll have protection. Okay, now we're talking. There we go. 
Meet me inside. Meet me inside. <laughs> this is lit. Hold on, whoa. Look at the foot. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's not okay. They they know it. Oh, they got babies in that motherfucker, man. Come on, bro. What do we got going? This house is... Fuck, we got an ear. Chill out, my boy. Darting back and forth. You cage, homie. You ain't going no damn where. Yo, this shit looks so crazy. So, it's only a stench thing? I thought we was about to find a body. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on, big dog. I don't want to go out there, man. Come on, buddy. You don't know the half of it. The dog doesn't quite trust this masked stranger, but his lack of aggression leaves the deputy free to take in the full horror of the scene around him. It's okay, boy. Hey, I'm just glad you ain't got a Cujo situation. Look at that beautiful ass husky. Oh my gosh, bro. How the fuck you got these niggas in here living like this, man? If it was cats, I'd say fuck them. But not the pups. Not over here, we don't. This shit crazy as shit. Yeah, what's in it? What's in there? Bedroom. I don't like dark rooms, bro. What we got going? Okay. Pet food. She does have dog food. Yeah. One bag. Yeah, I one seen Febreze over there. You ain't you ain't think about using that, mother? The food in the pantry hasn't prevented the dogs from reaching a malnourished state. The deputy's partner is next to take okay, a good so look at the living room. All right. This just a dog issue here. Whoa, that dog guy is like crazy. Okay, so it's just a funky ass house. I thought. As he I comes to terms so. with what he's seeing, his partner dismantles a fortress of wire and cardboard, blocking access to the hallway. Wait, we got more room. Mmm, -hmm. a shit room. Ugh, bitch. Ugh. Hey, Sam. If you can find a window, let's start opening windows. Yeah, air that motherfucker out, boy. Man, I'll bust them bitches open. No, not that bitch smell. There you go. Was that so hard? Fuck. I know them flies gonna, gonna start. Fucking making themselves comfortable. Within an hour. Meanwhile, the other deputy searches what appeared to be an abandoned wing of the house. Yeah, let me see something. He said a parent. Uh oh. More dogs. Okay, dogs. Okay. Three dogs. Oh, malnourished. Oh, gosh. Any of them deceased? The deputies return to the living room to verify just how many dogs okay, live so in this a, house. It's just a dog thing. Building. We need a dog count. What? A dog count. Dog duck. There's at least eight in cages. So we got the three that are out, right? I got three in those cages. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One under here. The home must be seen to be believed, which is exactly what the sergeant has in mind. Make some cell phone video. Are you willing to sacrifice your cell phone? Yeah, it's fine, but have okay. you touched anything? It's yeah. that bad? The air. Hey, this is bad. <laughs> we'll go with mine. It's this that is bad to where just being in an area, yo, everything get contaminated? It's a dog. It's alive. Well, there's, a dog. there's 19 dogs. There's a live dog in here? There's 19 dogs in here, Caleb. So if you open your mouth, your mouth gonna smell like shit. A local animal sanctuary right. called Best Friends. Hey, hey your shoes is toast then, I guess. Of the dogs. But that's not the end of the police involvement. They talked to Sarah that afternoon in the hospital. Yeah, what was you talking about, man? And tried to determine how exactly things at her house deteriorated to this extreme. 
<sighs> okay, so depression is, is, a, is a, a bit. little bit, but I'm gonna read you your rights. It's only because in order to ask you questions about what's going on, I have to read you these first. I've kind of got a little background of your training um, that that you do with the animals, and not anymore. But <laughs> yeah, I was. Doing yeah, this. maybe not anymore. This is a repetitive problem with me when things get really bad, and when my parents and I even don't talk that sort of thing, so I got really lonely, and I got that same dumb feeling What's that I somehow fix it, and I can't. Oh, the malnourished one. Could do that. Sure. Sarah may be puzzled by her own choices. But the fact is that many innocent animals suffered as a result. It soon becomes clear that this is not the first time this has happened. Have you ever what heard the police about this kind of thing before in Tennessee? Uh, mm, I have cops, had the uh, boys yeah, up. Ray County sheriffs. They didn't do anything because, once again, I was extremely mentally ill. They said, would you please take them? I can't care for them anymore. Mm -hmm. So they did take them and the things. So yes, there has been some police involvement. And got as regrettable dogs. as like, it is that Sarah right? hasn't learned from her previous failures, there is an even more frightening oh, truth shit. about how she acquired some of uh, the dogs. Have you come across the three that you did have that belonged to someone else? Um, he, I saw he had a great game puppy for sale, and um, he said, and I said, oh, she's cute, but I, I don't know how to know eight hundred dollars. <laughs> So, and then he said, I told him I was a dog trainer. So two of them were theoretically mine, and the male was always his that I was going to train to pay for the two girls. In an interview with the mm -hmm. local news, Ryan, the owner of those Great Danes, said it had been months since he'd heard anything about the training progress of his puppies. Indeed, it was only when he told Sarah that morning that he was on his way to pick up the dogs that she turned herself in to the police. Stop hiding behind the shame or whatever, and, yeah. and just say, uh, sadly, this is who I am. <laughs> I hope it's not all I am, but it's, uh, yeah. Ryan's imminent arrival may have inspired Sarah's honesty more than her own breakthrough, but it's mm -hmm. worth noting that she didn't just tell him in passing that she was an animal trainer. She advertised her business, Pet Pro's Behavior 1. Services, 5 on stars, Facebook bitch. and elsewhere. Offering in home and I know it's just two reviews, but damn. Premium price. And then look at the that false advertisement. Your shit don't look like that. The inside of her car was what? covered in feces. Ironically, the only part of the property relatively free got of shit feces everywhere. was the yard. Sarah tells the Funny. deputies that Ain't she that hasn't ironic. been able to properly feed and care for the dogs for at least three or four weeks. An admission that at least partially explains the condition of her animals and the disaster that is her home. I can say that I have no idea how you lived, how you lived. Because when I opened the door to your yeah. house, I could not even go in. Every day. Were you living in the house mm -hmm. or were you living in your car? In the house. Where did you sleep? I slept on the couch. But yeah, no, it, it, it burns my eyes when I get home. I hate it, but I'm like, you know what? You freaking did it. Mm -hmm. You deserve it. Deal with it. You know? So mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> If Sarah is saying she deserves the consequences of her actions, she knows it's something wrong. that she and the deputy can agree like, on. I'll be honest with you. I, I'm going to press criminal charges upon you. No. Okay. Sure. From what I could observe within dogs, no dog should have to go through what them dogs go through. Them dogs would probably be better off, and, and, and some of them might not make it. They're in the, the, such conditions as so. Um, okay. In addition to the horrific injuries already mentioned, the police report goes into much more detail, noting that all 19 dogs appear to be skinny with all skeletal bones showing under the skin. It goes on to say that most of the dogs could not stand or move properly because of the tight living conditions, Man. which brought about body deformities. A few dogs, the report states, were close to death. Holy, bro. Sarah Mills pled guilty to nine counts of cruelty in October Can they 2023. Come back from that? Roughly four months after her call to 911, she was ordered to pay a fine of $690, serve 60 days in jail, and spend 12 months on probation. Sarah was given the option to serve her jail sentence in increments of five days per month. In February 2024, however, Sarah's jail sentence was converted to 60 days of home confinement. Wow. Oh, that's a fucking sentence. <laughs> Nah, the irony of that is nasty. Uh, you know what? We got something. We gonna one-up this sentencing, alright? We got something that's worse than the jails. Your house, bitch.
It stinks. Fuck, stay your funky ass in that funky ass house, buy your lonesome, and serve out your days, alright? That's your punishment. Yeah, uh, 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 no bitch. Uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't argue me this shit. You earned it, bitch. The fuck wrong with you? Man? This shit crazy as the fuck, bro. I ain't know what we was in store for here, but, um... I guess it was just a dog story and somebody living nasty as shit, man. You know what I mean? But, hey, bro. Don't be trifling, y'all. Anyways, links in the description getting tuned. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all take it easy. Have a great rest of your day slash night. Good boop, 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 boop. Good boop.